Hey Trojans, this is Mr. Gardner. I've got um, a video I've put together that I'm asking your Troy Time teachers to show uh, during Home Troy. And I uh, hope you'll take a few minutes to look at this, um, spend a few minutes afterwards asking your Troy Time teachers some questions to help clarify. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and start the information right now. Okay, we know we have Troy time, but we're going to move into something that's called Troy time, and I'm just going to refer to it as TT in some of the text you'll see on the slides, but something called student request, okay? And we know right now, uh, when we started the year, all students have a home Troy time. You know, you spent the better part of a week, two, even three weeks in your home Troy times, and in Skyward, that's shown as a 401. We know after about the fourth going into the fifth week of school, we got our first mid-quarter grades that came out, mid-quarter one, and that's when we instituted intervention Troy time for students that had low grades. And what we try to do is get to the students who just have a few things they need to take care of, okay? And that students that might have an E grade where you were sitting between 50 and 60%, it could just be, you know, a test retake, getting some work done, things like that. You shouldn't have to spend a ton of time in an intervention Troy time but once you got scheduled that, you were expected to go to that. That didn't go so well, okay? I'm just gonna be flat blunt with you. It didn't go so well. We had kids kind of doing their own thing. And I think in most cases, most of our students do a great job, but there were some students really creating problems. So um, we had to kind of shut it down. And uh, we basically said that we need to be in our home Troys. And we stayed there for a little bit. We got the intervention Troy going again. And you know, our teachers are now shutting their doors and they should be locking them a minute or two after the tardy bell rings. So that's something that we're gonna continue doing because it's number one, it's a safe practice. And number two, you need to get to where you're supposed to go. Now, how do we improve upon this? I've received emails from students who would love to go see other teachers to help them out with different grades or just whatever the case may be. And we would love for you to be able to do that too. And I think we're ready to do this. So about a week or two ago, I met with our building leadership team, which are department chairs from all of our different departments. We looked at uh, one possible way of doing it. They gave us their input. We then went back to the drawing board. And now we have something called requested Troy time. So here's where you're gonna start getting informed. So really pay close attention to this. Okay, this is when a student needs help and is not already scheduled into a 402. Remember, that's the core intervention class during Troy time and only has a 401 Troy time on their schedule. So this, their student request, is a way to work with a different teacher because a lot of you want to be able to do that for a variety of reasons. We also have teachers that want to carve out time to work with students for a variety of reasons. I think this is going to help us. And here's the thing, we need everybody bought in. We need everybody doing the right thing. And that's the only way this is going to work. So. Here's our type on who you may request for your Troy time teacher on any of those home slash intervention days. Only the teachers on your current semester schedule. So you may have a favorite teacher from last year, but if they're not on your schedule, you can't request to go see them. You can go see them at maybe during their uh, lunchtime if you have the same lunch or something like that. We, we want you to have great relationships with your teachers, but we also have to be really safe in terms of making sure we're doing the things we're supposed to be doing. Okay, so here's step one, and I really need the teachers and the students to pay attention right now. Step one, student is, is assigned to a home Troy 401, and what they're gonna need to do is they're gonna need to email the teacher they're requesting to go to. They would be on the email to line, and then you're gonna notice in your emails, you should, your teachers might have to help you with this if you don't have a lot of experience with emailing. You then go to the CC line, and you're gonna CC two people. You're gonna CC your regular home Troy time teacher, okay, the one you're sitting in their classroom right now. And you're gonna CC one of our staff members and her name is Beth Scheip, Ms. Scheip. She works in our attendance office. So you're gonna actually reach out, communicate to three different people when you set the email up. Understand this, if you're a student that has a 402 intervention scheduled in, that prevails over everything. So just know that you can't ask to go, you can't request a different one, you've got to go to 402. Anyway, so when you do uh, create the email and your teachers will help you with this, you put in the receiving teacher's email address. Okay, that's on the two line and on the CC line, your home Troy time teacher, 
and then Ms. Scheip. It's bscheip at auburn.webnet.edu. In the subject line, you're going to say, may I attend your Troy time today? Remember, you're sending this to the receiving or the requested teacher that you're requesting. You then could type in your reason why. Your teacher may already know. In fact, your teacher may have already prompted you in class that same day or the day before to do this because some teachers are going to want you to be there. Okay, here's the type. The request must be emailed okay, by the student by 9, 10 on the same day. You got to get it in that morning. We want to throw in a little trigger, a little reminder. Well, breakfast after the bell is that reminder. So the day of, you're trying to go to a requested teacher. You see the kids lining up, the other students lining up for breakfast. It might be you. That reminds you, oh, yeah, I have to make sure I email my teacher, okay? Then you got to play the waiting game. Okay, student waits for the email reply, and it's going to reply all. So if you're the requested teacher, you got to reply all. You're replying to the student, to the home Troy teacher, and also to Ms. Scheip. And you got one or two things you can say. You can say yes, okay, which is awesome or you say not today. So if it goes that route, if the reply is not today, um, or there is no reply, because sometimes there might be a substitute teacher that the student doesn't know about, they're not gonna reply. So take the no reply as a not today. If that's the case, the student then attends the home Troy time. You gotta go there, okay? And remember, this request for a Troy time is only for students that don't already have an intervention. All right, let's go to the positive side of this. If the reply is yes, you then get to go to the requested Troy time teachers class. There's no hall passes. This is your electronic hall pass. Okay, the default is the student is present. No further action needed when student shows up to the requested Troy time class. We're banking on the fact that our students are going to do the right thing. They're going to go where they're supposed to get to, and they're going to get that requested class. They're going to check in with their teacher, and the teacher then can start working with you, okay? Understand this, admin will be around to check the emails of those students who seem to take their time getting to their Troy times. Please don't say we're hassling you. We just need to know where you're supposed to go. So you're going to need to show us with your Chromebook or your personal device. Hey, here's the email. I'm going to go see Mr. So-and-so, Ms. So-and-so. Here's my proof. And then you need to get there. Okay, if the student does not make it to the request of Troy time, the requesting Troy time teacher will reply all, and they're just going to type in the word absent. So that absence now been recorded with Ms. Scheip. The absent has been recorded with her home Troy time teacher who needs to make that attendance adjustment in their Troy time because they're still a home Troy time student. They've just requested to go somewhere else. So when all that happens, students, your parents are going to get, your family's going to get a phone call home that you didn't make it to where you're supposed to go. And we're going to have this electronic paper trail so everything's covered. It's allowing students to do the right thing. And all we expect you to do is do the right thing. And then you can go to where you need to go in most cases. Okay, students will stay in the requested Troy time for the entire 30 minutes. You can't come and go. You got to be there. Again, we got to make sure we're doing this right. We're going to try it for a week. If it goes really well, we'll continue on the next week but you gotta show us you can handle it. I believe you can. That's why we spent so much time in developing this. And we're gonna release this information to your parents, not so um, drawn out, but we're gonna kind of tell them how you're able to uh, navigate the system here at school. And this is for all students. Again, if you're in an intervention, Troy, that kind of supersedes or trumps all of these things. So now would be the time to shut this off. Now would be the time for students to ask their Troy time teachers questions. And if you guys can't answer them, please have your Troy Time teacher email me and I'll get back to everybody. Thank you so much. Thanks for listening.